Right now, here this week, a very special interview on international world-class championship wrestling. Two war party, you two cigar store refugees, Johnny Rotten and Flex Lavender, are here to offer the challenge for the IWCCW Tag Team Belt. The gold belongs around our waist, so whatever you two yellow stripes get the guts to put it in the ring against us, we're right here. That's right, Flex Lavender, you know the toughest competition in the world is right here in the International World Class Championship Wrestling. So I suppose that's why the Sioux War Party's here. We're Sioux War Party, the toughest is right here, and we're coming after them International World Class Tag Team Championship belts, because they're ours, and they belong to us, because we got style. <laughs> Flex Lavender, I'm so mad. I'm real mad. You know why? Because you stick your nose where you shouldn't go. Now you will pay the price. Yes, you will. And the belts are on the line. That's what you wanted. You got it. If we have to the put belts the belts on the, on the line, line, we will, will. That's, that's it. We're going to do that. We're exa that's exactly what we're going to yes. do. Right. There is a look at the challengers for this very special tag team title bout here this week on International World Class Championship Wrestling. I'm Brian Webster Grigson. You're looking at the great Flex Lavender. His partner is Johnny Rotten. They have climbed the ladder here of contention. Tag team championship action this week. And they're backing up because we are about to take a look at the tag team champions. There they are. The Sioux War Party from Sioux City, Iowa. They're coming in at a combined weight of 475 pounds, and these two guys are put together, and they are going to show you why they won the International World Class Championship Wrestling Tag Team Championship. It was at a tournament final against the Canadians. And ever since that fateful night, the Sioux War Party has held the championship proudly. Johnny Rotten, Flex Lavender complaining. The bell is gone, and we are set for some action. This is going to be great. Again, Flex Lavender displaying the muscles that it takes to be one of the big boys here in the IWCCW. However, it is not going over well with the fans. The fans have come to the arena tonight to see pro wrestling, and that's exactly what they're going to get. Once the color elbow time comes, oh, look at that. We start off with the side headlock, and now we got a crisscross going on here. And who's going to win this one? Whoa! Talk about walking into a brick wall, that brick wall known as a tomahawk chop. Dancing Wolf taking over now, whips his man into the far side and comes off with a chop. And let Johnny Rotten have one as well. Over to the corner where he doesn't want to be, it's Flex Lavender, and there's the tag. In comes White Cloud, the other half of this fine tag team championship duo. Double team effort going on here, and a double shot right into the throat. White Cloud drops the elbow, and down for the cover, and a two counts all he can get. Flex did kick out, but just to be on the safe side, Johnny Rotten coming in for the save. White Cloud holding on to that arm twist. And I think he wants to take a piece of it back to Sioux City, Iowa when this one's over. Tag is made. And comes down with a double X handle off the second rope. And Flex Lavender may not be able to sign any future contracts if this keeps up. Dancing Wolf just went for an elbow drop, and there was nobody home. Oh, Flex grabbing a head of Dancing Wolf, and then punching him right out of the forehead, and the referee didn't see a thing. Now you can hear the pow-wow noise, the pow-wow starting up. White Cloud trying to get something going, but Johnny Rotten able to take control, and a vicious clothesline. Oh! There's that hip roll that we've seen so many times by Johnny Rotten. Fine kick out by Dancing Wolf. As he tries to clear the cobwebs and get his act together a little bit. Oh, a couple of 5-12 right into the face 
Whoa, that's not going to go over too well. There was a shot on White Cloud, and White Cloud didn't respond too kindly to that. There's a double team effort and a double clothesline takedown by the challengers Johnny Rotten and Flex Lavender, the number one contenders to the IWCCW Tag Team Championship, currently held by the Sioux War Party. There's a snap mare over. And down with a knee comes Lex Lavender. Nonchalant cover. He's got to realize that he's not in the ring there with the uh, beginner. Dancing Wolf with several years of experience. And now whips into the rope. Lavender comes off with an attempted clothesline. Dancing Wolf ducks under and comes off with a clothesline of his own. Nicely done by Dancing Wolf of the Sioux War Party, the tag team champions in action in a title bout here this week on International World Class Championship Wrestling. Now it's Flex with his man over in the corner and a vicious chop right into the chest. Ed goes downstairs, back upstairs with a chop. Flex Lavender now back downstairs once again. And Dancing Wolf says, I've had enough of this. Take that tomahawk chop and take another one. Now they go toe for toe, and now the powwow begins one more time. And look at the look on the face of Flex Lavender. He goes down with a flying clothesline. Over to the corner to make the tag. Here comes White Cloud. And uh, what are we going to have here? Oh, fine drop kick by White Cloud. Flex Lavender coming back with a shot right into the throat. Now they're going toe-to-toe, -to -toe. chop for chop, shot to shot, and who's going to come out on top? It looks like White Cloud's going to come out on top with a little clothesline, and Flex is going to count the light. Whip Flex into the far rope, stuck underneath, and whoa, Flex Lavender just came off with a fine clothesline of his own, and White Cloud feeling the effects of that one. Johnny Rotten comes in after a tag and starts to go to work. Several rights right into the side of the face of White Cloud. Referee right there to make the count, make sure that that doesn't go on too often. Now with this man, Rotten whips him into the buckles and drops in with a drop kick. And that has to hurt more than a regular drop kick because there was no place for White Cloud to go. That back just snapped right into the turnbuckle. White Cloud now, all out of breath and really in a bad situation here. Down to the canvas goes White Cloud. And they've got to get their act together, the Sioux War Party does, because it may not be too much longer in this contest. We could have new tag team champions. This is not a good situation for the Sioux War Party to be in. Now, for that big boot, Flex Lavender adding his two cents worth and now holding on while more damage can be done on the corner. Meanwhile, the referee is on the other side trying to keep Dancing Wolf out. And this is not going over well at all. Here comes Flex Lavender across the small of the back of White Cloud. Referee trying to get Dancing Wolf out of the ring and gain some sort of control in this contest. These fans looking on, they don't want the Sioux War Party to lose the Tag Team Championship of the world. Once again, Dancing Wolf is doing more damage by coming in to argue with the referee. That has allowed Rotten and Lavender to take over once again. Double clothesline, double elbow drop, and this could spell doom. Well, Johnny Rotten just counted a four, and there's a kick out. Now he's complaining to the referee, you better let go of that collar because the referee isn't going to stand for that too much longer. And whips his man into the far side once again, runs in, there's nobody home, and this could spell the end for the Sioux War Party. Rolls him up, and only a count of two. It's got to be very frustrating for both teams, as a matter of fact. Both teams giving their all in this contest, and so far, neither with a decided advantage. There's a sunset flip attempt, but Johnny Rutten's able to sit down on him, makes the cover. Oh, there's a half sunset flip. Three count is made! And the Sioux War Party successfully defends the Tag Team Championship of the World.